Hi guys, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to adjust the caster and camber in the front end setup on a Parallel go-kart. The Parallel caster camber adjuster is quite unique. You'll find it on the KR, WPK, DAP go-karts, as well as the Parallel senior and junior frames. What I like about the system is you can adjust the camber and caster independently of each other. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we got our trusty sniper wheel aligners, a set of multi-grips, a 10 mil spanner, a 13 mil spanner, a five mil Allen key or a T-bar and a 2.5. So the beauty of this system over other ones that I've seen is that this uh, screw controls the forward and back position of the kingpin or the top part of the kingpin. And then if you re remove the retaining screw here, this top part can rotate. So this is gonna be your camber. Um, we've got positive camber or negative camber where the kingpin goes inboard or outboard at the top. And then a caster angle is gonna increase if we screw it backwards or decrease if we screw it forwards. So let's get started. First things first we're going to do is a camber change. We're gonna get our trusty sniper wheel liners out, place them on the stub axle. Now the parallel and sub axle is nice and straight here, so you can put the sniper straight on, turn the laser on, and do the same on the other side, paying special attention to not put the sniper over here on this little taper or onto the wheel spaces, and avoiding the weld here at the apex of these two parts. So now that we've got the steering wheel going straight ahead, we can start our wheel alignment process. If we look closely at our laser grid here, you can see that this car has been set with a little bit of toe out, so one dot of toe out, it's forward of the center line, and that we've got one box and one dot worth of negative camber. And what we're gonna do is a, a slight adjustment, we're gonna increase the negative camber because we've got some brand new tires on this car, and we don't wanna oversteer the car on the way into the corner on these sticky LeConte tires. So first things first, we're gonna loosen off the kingpin with a five millimeter Allen key and a 13 millimeter ring spanner. And then with the two and a half mil Allen key, we can remove this little locking screw. So this is what we'd call the standard position. We've got the little reference dot here at 12 o'clock, basically in line with this uh, screw here. And that's the standard setting. So if someone goes, I'll put the car back to standard, we've got the dot pointing at 12 o'clock. Now to put some negative camber, we've loosened off the kingpin grabbing the moldy grips and we can just rotate this guy in this direction. Now it is a little bit stiff. I'm just gonna go one hole's worth and then you can put your little locking screw back in. Do up the kingpin again and double check your laser alignment. Now, as you can see here on the grid, we have increased the negative camber down to two boxes and a half. That's gonna be excellent for these new tires. So now I just need to do the same on this side. So it is the same both sides of the cart. Now, if you do rotate the dot inboard, the kingpin moves away from the center line and that will increase the positive camber on the opposite side. It's rare that we'd be using positive camber with these new tires, they're just so sticky. So we're gonna rotate that, say reference point, the dot outboard. So we're counting around the clock, we're at about one o'clock. I'm gonna put the screw back in. So now we can do up the kingpin and check both sides are equal. So now like in some of our other videos, we want to adjust our toe in or toe out. And then we're gonna use the ruler supplied from the sniper guys, and we're gonna find that apex point of the laser. You see it's hitting on the steering column about 15 millimeters at the 15 millimeter mark. I'm just gonna check and make sure it's on the same both sides. And then check both sides, and this one here is about 14 millimeters, which is very, very close. And we've got the right amount of toe out that we're looking for, for this guy, and the right amount of negative camber. So there's heaps of adjustability on the front end of the, most go-karts, and these are no different. Play around with them at your local track, 
trying different cambers with new tires versus old tires. Negative camber normally works best on the new tire, and as the tire starts to get a little bit deg, you're gonna come closer to the neutral, and maybe in a positive camber depending on your track. It's very rare that we're using them here locally at the moment. Toe out and toe in is very preferential to the driver. Toe out will have a tendency to steer more on the way into the corner, and toe in or neutral would resist the car changing directions on the initial part of the corner. Now, if you did want to increase or decrease the amount of caster in this go-kart, I'm gonna show you how to do that by loosening off the kingpin and then just changing the adjustment screw forward or backwards, and then I'll show you how to measure it to make sure you got the same amount of caster both sides of the car. So to adjust the caster, it's pretty simple. Just loosen that kingpin off again. Then to increase or decrease the amount of caster, we can just turn this little screw here with the spanner. And basically, if you screw it, say, like you're undoing the bolt, it moves it forward. You can measure it a few ways. You could just go, say, flush with the end of the nut. You could use a set of verniers if you want to get pretty close. Okay, this has got 0.8 of a millimeter. So say you wanted to increase your caster by a millimeter, you could just grab your spanner. Turn it the other way. One point four six. Give it a half a turn. One point six six. Otherwise, you could get the inside part of your verniers, and you could measure down in here. And remember, it's just a reference setting. So if you measure that at seven point six millimeters, so we want to change it. We want a little bit more caster. We're gonna screw the bolt clockwise and then just measure this. And if this measurement here starts to shrink, so we're down at 6.3 millimeters, and visually you can see that the um, this whole unit here is moving backwards. And that's increasing the amount of caster. So now that we've made all our adjustments, yep, we've got the caster all dialed in. We just wanna make sure it's the same on both sides. So you can set your verniers to 6.5 millimeters. Use your little lock there and then use it as a bit of a no-go gauge. So it doesn't quite go in. I need to jack that forward a little bit. Okay, so that's a bit loose there now. And I can just move the screw until I can feel that it just tightens up. And what I can do is nip the kingpin back up, make sure everything's nice and tight. And then using the trusty steel ruler that comes supplied in your sniper kit. So we can swing the steering one way and you can see the laser's hitting it about 159 millimeters one way. Swing the steering the other way and it's about 159 millimeters the other way. Anything within a millimeter is pretty close when it comes to steering geometry. So I get asked all the time, oh, when should I add more caster des? Well, that's a great question. When you want the cart to rotate more quickly going into the corners, when I add more caster, so tight and twisty tracks. And then if the track's mega sticky or you add a very fast flowing circuit, that's the time to start reducing your caster. Test these things out for yourself at your local track and report back your findings in the comments below. When it comes to caster and camber, it's very preferential, but you've got to practice these things and you need to practice them with new tires. If you've got any other questions about caster, camber, snipers, wheel alignments, we've got a great tutorial series, the Ultimate Kart Academy is launched. You can check that out in the description below. Otherwise, leave us a comment or a question in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.